We all know Undiscovered Worlds was, and is, a very lacklustre expansion pack to populace the beginning. With even less of a story, a much shorter campaign and zero new additions, we're going to struggle to find many great things to discuss about the single player experience. That said, there are a few gems amongst the 12 levels that the expansion has to offer. Here are the top 3 best single player levels in Populous Undiscovered Worlds. The first time you lay eyes on this level you immediately feel like you don't stand a chance. Either by pure luck or because the enemy shaman sculpted the land with the skills of Michelangelo, the Dakini have their base built like a fortress. A great challenge for the inexperienced player, and if there were no terraforming spells, and if fire warriors were able to shoot at all angles from the high ground, it would be a challenge for the experienced player too. Situated at the edge of the large island, the Dakini tribe aren't actually aware of your presence. A cool little quirk that gives you a sense of tranquility. That is, until you are eventually scouted by the enemy, or you're straight too close to their defences. You get a short period of playing Sim Village, as you build up and prepare for the inevitable invasion. You can use this time to plan your attack, fortify your own defences, or even seek out the world's seekers to receive aid from the gods. No matter how you choose to play this level, casting a volcano in the heart of the fortress is oh so satisfying. I had great difficulty compiling this list. I feel like these three levels are equally as good and could go in any order. For its great level design, challenging objective and increased level of difficulty, Soul Survivor places second in this list. You're pitted against the Dakini tribe in a race to worship the totem pole in the centre of the world. This totem pole will help eradicate the home of the opposing tribe, so there's really no time to waste for the Dakini have a head start. You get to construct your settlement the way you would like to on a generous amount of land with a good supply of wild men. Your base is already set up to propel attacks from the front and to slow down an assault from the sea. Just fill those towers and have your shame that they're ready because the Dakini is no pushover. You could understand the desire to focus solely on a world splitting totem pole, but for the Dakini tribe that's not enough. They will hit you fast and they'll hit you hard and they will not relent. Expect to repair your defences numerous times or your base if you are careless and keep an eye out on the attacks from the rear. If you're a new player, you may find this to be a very challenging level, but when you do overpower the enemy and watch as their base is destroyed by a god, you are certain to feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. www.number1.uw World Wide Web tops the list due to its simplistic design, its unique mechanic and all the fun that can be had. On a small, shallow and misty land, you were informed that your braves lack the ability to construct training huts. Fortunately, the shaman now god of the original game has provided the tribes with a way to obtain trained followers. Once you've explored the land, you can begin converting the abundance of wildmen that frequent the area, then it's time to construct your settlement or head straight for any of the three totem poles, as the opposing tribes must also worship these to receive trained followers. Providing preachers in one, warriors in another, and fire warriors in the final, controlling these totem poles grants you the ability to fortify your defences, or to attack an enemy who may be lacking certain followers. The fact that each tribe has the potential of having only one type of trained follower, different to the followers that the other tribes have, really adds a strategic element to the way you play. This unique playstyle allows you to experiment and replay this level any way you desire to. It's a shame mechanics like this do not work in multiplayer. This was the top 3 Undiscovered Worlds single player levels and I do not know why I chose to use this voice upon creating this audio. Thank you very much to Andronic who created and put together this video. Leave your suggestions in the comments below as to what other lists you would like to see. Until the next video, take care of yourselves.